Hey everyone, and welcome to Conversations for Peace. I'm Marcy Newman, your Heart Shift Coach, and today is day 24. And you know, it's been so interesting for me to um, listen to the many people who have so generously given their time, their energy, their deep wisdom, and their thoughts about cultivating peace. What does it take to be a peaceful person? Um, what do we need to look at? What do we need to let go of? What do we need to invite in? <clears throat> and one of the things that sort of stood out for me is that I could identify some differences between the yin and the yang energy. We've had some wonderful men, some wonderful women. And the energy or the approach of energy in relation to peace um, is at times very distinguishable. And so I wondered if you had noticed that as well. Now, there are other times where it's very apparent to me that there has been a beautiful balance that has been found in every single speaker that we have had. And so I'm thinking about, you know, what is that all about? How does that develop? Because clearly, from the male point of view, it's about doing. From a female point of view, it's about being. And so you might think that the yin and the yang might be in conflict with each other. But I have found such beauty in the overwhelming aspect of balance between these two masculine and feminine energies. And I needed to just bring to your attention how you might begin to notice this in your own life. What are some of the practices, some of the ways that if you're male, for instance, or identify as a male, that you also bring in these feminine energies? Or conversely, if you are female or identify as a female, how do you bring in male energies? Because in truth, it's really the balance of these energies that allows us to step into that state of peace that we're all looking for. Now, it's not to say that at times we have to be more masculine if we're female and more feminine if we're male. The reason for that, obviously, is that if we're fully into the doing all the time, we lose the opportunity to savor the being. And if we're just being, we lose the opportunity to cultivate, to expand, to grow in the being. And so as we are, 